Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, so today I need to make an adapter cable. Uh, we are going to make a little one foot adapter cable uh, that is using a standard a Neutrik XLR. Um, this is just a three pin male XLR and we are also using a uh, TS, a tip sleeve quarter inch cable. Um, this is going to be a, one, a little one foot adapter cable that is designed to interface a unbalanced connection to a balanced uh, input. So uh, this is going to be used for uh, a guitar project that I have coming up that I need to test the guitar signal in my shop that does not have quarter inch jacks available. Um, this is also uh, a cable that you would make to uh, not use a direct box to hook up a uh, keyboard or a guitar or something like that to a mixing console. So um, I am going to show you how to make that. So uh, the cable, this is a little six inch cable. Um, you uh, I, you can make this out of whatever you want. I like to make everything here in the shop out of star quad. Uh, this is L4E6AT star quad cable. This is the install version of the cable. Um, if you're interested in the two different types of star quad that are available, check out the link in the upper right hand corner of the video. I just did a very, very boring video showing the two of those things uh, last week. So you can check that out right now. So anyway, I am going to strip this cable down now and we are going to start to solder. Okay, so uh, now that we've got the cable strip, this is what it looks like on the inside. So a star quad cable is a technically a, a five conductor cable. So the the idea here is you can um, each the, the blue and the white is is your hot, your cold, and then this uh, bare wire is your ground. So if we're doing it in a typical balanced section or a balanced connector, basically you, you pick a color and stick to it. So uh, if you want your blue to be your hot and your white to be your cold, do that, and then this would be your, your ground. So in an XLR, this would be pin two, this would be pin three, and this would be pin one. Um, so because we're making this an unbalanced adapter cable, uh, I'm going to cut this drain wire off, this ground off, and we don't need that because we're not going to be using it in the connector, so I am just going to strip these down. Okay, so once your uh, wires are stripped, what I like to do is just take these and twist. starting at the base. Okay, so that should look something like this. Uh, I was doing this cable in a video last week and it was really difficult to do. It's really nice and easy uh, on camera with this nice little cable. So uh, what I like to do is just dip these in flux so that you have good solder penetration. I'm just going to put this in my helping hands just like this. And then I'm going to tin these. And then once these are tinned, I'm just going to snip this down. So you might be asking yourself why I made those big and long like that. It is way easier to get a nice uh, tip just like this uh, with a shorter cable uh, or with a longer uh, stripped end. So um, because we are making, we are using an unbalanced connector on the other end, we're not going to be using pin three on this. We're going to be using only pin two and pin one. So historically, or not historically, actually, uh, pin three is the balanced, the cold conductor. Uh, pin one is the ground, and pin two is the signal. So when we're using a non-balanced connector, we're just going to use pins one and two. Um, so the way that these pins are organized on an XLR. Again, I would assume that if you're watching this video, you probably know this. Um, this is pin one, this is pin three, this is pin two. So we're going to make pin two hot. So let's pick a color. 
let's make blue hot. I'm going to do my best to do this on camera. Okay, so this is good to go. Just confirming my white is pin one. My, ooh, that's hot. My blue is my hot. That's pin two. So all we have to do is just build the XLR connector like normal. There you go, teeny weeny teeny little patch cable. Um, so now let's build the uh, quarter inch side. So we're using the NP2XB TS connector. And put our boot on here first. Okay. So again, the uh, the strip process is the same. So I messed this up. Um, I cut I cut this off a little bit too long, which is why I cut this down. So if you notice, uh, this is just a sort of abbreviated video. I've got a little piece of the drain wire hanging off there. Um, I, I took the uh, the yellow part, the separator, the white string parts, and the uh, ground wire and just cut that all at once, which I'm sure you probably saw. Here's our wire strippers here. Now this is 24 gauge wire, um, so this is pretty thin. Standard uh, wire strippers do not, depending on what kind you have, do not have a um, little knockout that's that's for this thin wire. So I use this, um, these custom or these little Klein ones that go from what is this, 26 to 16 gauge wire. So just something to keep in mind if you're stripping this wire. So again, we'll just do a little twist. And then that's nice and neat. Just do this again. Okay. Okay, so for the NP2X connector, here's how this works. Uh, this part right here is your ground, and then this part right here is your hot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of flux on there. The gold connectors are pretty easy. They, they take solder pretty well. Um, the BAG, the silver connectors, they sometimes can not get a good bond there. So you want to definitely make sure that you use flux if you're doing this with a uh, BAG connector. But the gold ones are fine, but for the sake of uh, the YouTube comments, I'm going to put some flux down there. Okay, so uh, the next step is just to uh, load the cable. So I like to do the hot first. And then we'll get the ground. like a little more solder down there. There we go. All 
Okay, then we will just get our little cable protector on there. It goes just like that. Okay, and there we go. There's our uh, unbalanced to balanced converter cable. Um, if you would like to buy this cable, um, I do make these and sell these on our website. So just check the link below if you'd like uh, if you'd like to check that out. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, just uh, drop a comment below. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching.